Hi everyone, you're getting used to me talking about film photography or tube amplifiers, but for today I've got something a little bit different. The light bulb, but not the ones you're used to. The first type of light bulb I want to showcase is this one. I think, I say I think, I'm not sure about this. This is a, a carbon filament light bulb, probably from the early 1900s. I had it for ages, it was in my family for a few decades. And uh, yeah, probably a carbon filament. Let's have a look at the macro shots I, I did earlier today. So this is the, the nipple where they draw the vacuum inside the light bulb. You can see the filament. The filament looks metallic, but uh, darker metallic. Unlike the Philips uh, light bulb we will see later on, the filament looks way darker and thicker. This is a, definitely a really nice looking piece of technology. I, I really enjoy this. I, I've been collecting light bulbs since I was a kid and I've um, always been fascinated by these ones. They look like the light bulbs that would come up uh, in comic books uh, to show someone's got an idea. So. Yeah, let's plug it in and see how it works. It's probably gonna be the first time in a, in a few decades that this light bulb has seen some electricity going through it. But let's have a look. So for this first sequence, I'm voluntarily leaving the camera on manual exposure, so it's not gonna compensate uh, by any means. So you will be able to see how bright the light bulb can be. It's always difficult on YouTube to show you a light bulb working. But here we are, we are only uh, putting 60 volts in and the, the base and there we go. 60 volts AC and as you can see there is a there is a light amount of glow. Something you can notice on these light bulbs is if you uh, jiggle them, look at how the filament is moving inside. There is no retainer inside. And that's a very good experiment uh, I'm gonna do right now. Here is, uh, as you can see, it's a speaker, yeah, with a magnet at the back. And I'm gonna bring the magnet close to the light bulb and just look at the filament, what is it doing? And there we are. Well, I'm gonna whack in the macro shot. <laughs> You're gonna have a look at this. And it's just uh, surprising. It means that any conductor, when a current flows through a conductor, the conductor generates its own mag magnetic field and the magnetic field from this conductor is reacting with the magnet, the permanent magnet of the speaker. It's, uh, well, I think, but I'm not sure that this one is a pure carbon filament light bulb. Anyways, uh, I driving it with a 60 volts, uh, I think it's time to uh, use it with 110 volts, just like it was probably meant to be used. Uh, let's hope I'm not gonna pop it, but let's go. Wow, this is bright. Um, I'm gonna go back in uh, automatic exposure and we'll be back. Look at that. It's a very bright light bulb. But I'm not gonna leave it on for a while. I could feel the heat coming from the light bulb. Talking about efficiency, well, it's gonna be uh, in the next uh, sequence of this video. So this is the first light bulb I wanted to show you. And uh, let's talk about the next one. And this one is uh, 220, 230 volts. Uh, as you can see um, here in Belgium, some places were using 220 volts. Some others were using 110, so it depends on the ge geographic location where you are. But this one is, uh, yes, as you can see, 115 watts. Well, let's put it on here, and I'm gonna do a split screen in post. And well, I'm gonna use the manual exposure, so nothing is going to be changing. And I'm gonna plug this in with 230 volts. And there it is, a 100 watt light bulb uh, with 230 volts. 
Yeah, as you can see, the previous one was uh, very, very inefficient and they are consuming the same amount of electricity. This one is way brighter. On the right is the modern day one and on the left is uh, obviously the old style. The last light bulb I'm going to show you is this one. It's a red light bulb. And when I saw it uh, at a dumpster, I asked the owner if I could uh, take it with me because um, I thought it was a, a dark room, safe light, old style light bulb. And I said, well, that's uh, interesting. So uh, it's a 220 volts, I can use it. And I found out it was uh, probably not a safe light, but instead an infrared. Uh, I mean it, infrared light bulb, probably used by farmers for growing chickens or stuff like this. So it's a 220 volts, we're gonna plug it in. I know it works, I plugged it in a while ago, and as you can see, the light is very dim. And if I put my hands like that, I literally can feel the heat coming from the light bulb. So I suspect it was probably used in a farm or something like this, probably for therapy. Well, it feels good. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this video about light bulbs you don't see every day, different types and stuff like this. I really like this technology and I wanted to share it with you. Anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Just uh, put a like or uh, write a comment uh, underneath the video and uh, I hope to see you next time. See you later alligators. And yes, I got an idea.